Welcome to Figma Bytes, a video series that aims to teach you how to speed up your Figma workflow. On our main course today is branches. Not the kind that grows on trees, but the kind that lets us make changes to our files in a safer way. Branching is a feature that gives us a staging or playground environment to make changes to a file. This is most applicable to design systems or files that are published to a team library. We can safely try experimental changes or update our component without having to edit the live version. Once we're happy with the changes, we can merge them back into the main file. Let's look at an example with buttons. Here we have our base buttons for a design system that we want to enrich a little bit. Let's create a new branch by going to the title area in the toolbar and clicking Create Branch and give our branch a name. We'll be adding icons to the buttons, so let's call it Buttons with Icons. Click Create. Figma drops us into what looks like a new file. You can see we have a new file name of Branching, Buttons with Icons. Okay, let's make some changes to these buttons. We're going to add a new property to the variants by clicking the overflow menu in the variants panel on the right and clicking add new property. Let's name it icon and set the default to false. Let's duplicate all three buttons, expand the size of your variant container, select all the buttons and use the shortcut option click and drag to make the copies. While these are selected, change the icon property value to true back over in the variants panel. I have a sneaky little icon already on my clipboard, so we're going to use Figma's multi-paste feature, which we'll be covering in an upcoming video, to quickly paste the icon into the selected buttons. Now we're going to adjust our spacing, padding, and margins around our button over in the Auto Layout panel. Next, we want to get rid of the fully rounded style and update to more of a rounded rectangle. Let's change that. And let's update the button color so that they're a little bit more pink. Okay, so now we've made some changes to our buttons that we're happy with. Let's merge these changes back into our main file. Up in the toolbar, click the title area dropdown and hit Review and Merge Changes. This brings up a dialog that helps us review the changes we've made in our branch. We've added three and updated three. Click into one of the updates to see more details about the change. Here we can do things like overlay the two changes to visually see the difference and slide between them to compare. When you click on an added one, you can see there's nothing to compare. Great, this looks good. Let's add a description to help keep track of what changed in this merge. The more accurate your description, the better. You can also choose to add reviewers from your team to approve your changes, but we're going to go ahead and just merge without review for the sake of this video. You can see we're back in our main file with a merging snack bar at the bottom. When that's done, the updates are ready to publish. That's how you branch and merge. I hope this Figma Byte helps you bravely branch buttons and more. Thanks for watching.